Sand, wind, rubbish, and around 100 volunteers braving it all to clean up the Southland coastline. Hi, I'm Ruby Spinkin in Bacargill at Auriti Beach, where the MP Sarah Dowie's hosting a beach cleanup. It's Sea Week, and all around New Zealand, discussions are taking place on how to best protect our coasts. Sarah Dowie organised practical action for people to take part in this morning. Ariti Beach is integral to our community here in Southland. It's one of the only beaches in New Zealand that you can still drive your car on. So it's really important that we protect that freedom and keep it clean and appreciate uh, everything about the ocean. People from Zed Fuel, Invercargill Environment Centre, Environment Southland and 70 students from Autotata Primary and Preschools took part this morning. The Department of Conservation also joined in. Supervisor of Murihiku team, John McCarroll, says it's hard to measure the vast amounts of rubbish in our seas and on our beaches, let alone the impacts on sea life. But it's not good. To sea creatures, as we know, there's, there's a lot of rubbish, it will strangle them, it will get caught up, it will affect their day-to-day -day life, suffocate, kill them, um, impact on their habitats where they can't actually go and um, operate normally to, to get food and that sort of thing. And the next generation of environmentalists had a blast tidying up the beach this morning. They also found some interesting things amongst the sand, including a 1938 penny. Pretty much this gumboot we've got here because we're thinking to make like a craft of it and also we found a lighter that still works so we've got to be very careful with it. Well, I found this lighter and Kayla, my friend's still thinking that it's able to work. Um, this is a gimbal and we f and I found it under some sand pieces. Yeah, okay. Well, I've got a rope and it was right up on the hill. Well, this is the most interesting piece because it's a belt and it looks like it's been half burnt off or like ripped off. Sarah Dowie says this sort of thing can't happen without the support of so many different parts of the community. I'm Ruby Spink for The South Today.